Sonny Donnelly, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm at Islet and Boxing Club today and with me I've got the marksman himself, Aaron Morgan. Uh, Aaron, how are you feeling? How are you doing? I'm good, thank you Sonny. How are you mate? I'm good, thanks. Um, Ten months out of the ring since that big domestic uh, fight with Joe Pigford. Yep. Um, you were seeing contracts out with other promoters, but now you're back on MTK show yep. on Saturday? This Saturday, yep. Um, how are you feeling? Yeah, yeah, I feel good. I feel great. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting back in the ring. It's been a long time, it's been ten months. I mean, not from wanting, but it's been ten months. I was getting married. I had uh, I was shopping around for new management, which I'm with uh, with Robert and Alfie now. Um, got a great team going forward. I'm really looking forward to getting back in the ring. Obviously, training with Islington uh, in Islington now managed by the two men from Islington. I mean, uh, how do you feel? How do you feel with the new team? Yeah, yeah, I feel really good with the new team. I'm really uh, I'm really optimistic about where we're heading in the future. I've got Robert, who's got a wealth of boxing knowledge and experience. He's been in the game a long time. I've got Alfie who's got tremendous enthusiasm for the game. I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully that will marry up with my dedication and my hard work and will really make things happen and push forward. In the gym, I mean, uh, has it been working? I mean, having 10 months out, do you feel ready to fight again straight away? Yeah, yeah. Um, I've been out of the ring for 10 months. I've been out of competitive action for 10 months, but I've not been out of training or I haven't been out of uh, out of boxing, I've been training, I've been sparring, uh, I'm known on the circuit. I've been around. Like I said, I was getting married, so that, that took up that took up a bit of uh, a bit of time. Um, shopping around for new management took up a little bit of time. I was actually going to be out in uh, December, but I picked up a hand injury, unfortunately, so I had to sit out in December. So here we are now. So it's been it's been a long while. Like I said, not from wanting, but. We're back now, so I'm looking forward to, to cracking on and getting the show on the road. Obviously, you've got the new team. You've always had the talent um, quite early on in the year now. I mean, are you going to be looking for them big domestic fights again by the end of 2018? Yeah, I'm looking to get busy. I'm looking to get busy. I'm looking to get back in the ring, obviously, this Saturday. Shake off the cobwebs, whatever cobwebs are there. You know, get a feel of the ring again. Get a feel of, of everything, not just, not just the fight, but, you know, the warm-up, the ring walk, everything. And then... Uh, once I feel comfortable again, hopefully I'll get out again soon and then really crack on, get active and get uh, get some big fights, get some big fights and get rolling. I know you're into the boxing anyway, just a fan and I see you at your call on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Being there, seeing the people walk out, seeing the atmosphere, did that really get you going and buzzing for Saturday? Yeah, yeah. It was important for me to come down on Saturday to, to soak up a bit of the atmosphere before I'm out, obviously this week. So I was there, soaked it in. Saw some great bouts. The the Zelfa Barrett and Ronnie Clark bout was the the standout for me of the evening. Um, saw Anthony Yard continue his uh, you know sort of decimation of his opponents at the moment. Um, yeah, it was a good evening. I was glad to be there. Saw yourself down there as well. It's always uh, it's always good catching up with you. Yeah, but um, no, it was a good evening. Good to soak up the atmosphere. I'm glad to I'm glad to be back in the arena myself on on Saturday. I mean, I was going to capture you yesterday, but it was your little boy's birthday party. How did that go? Yeah, yeah, that was that was <laughs> that was cool. You know what? That was that was a great day. It was uh, it was my little boy's birthday party. He's four years old. I don't know where where the time's gone. Um, I see the yeah. video on your Instagram. He looked like he was loving every minute of that. Yeah, yeah, no, he's a real he's a real big personality, and uh, yeah, <laughs> put a smile on my face. But yeah, I had a great time. And I mean, seeing them moments with your boy. I mean, and both of them are a spitting image of you. By the way, I must say. Yeah, yeah, um, a lot of people say that. Lucky boys. <laughs> <laughs> How much does that make you want to do well in boxing? Just not for you, but for them to, to provide for them and show them that they could make something for their life? Um, not so much boxing, life in general. Um, it's very important for me to, you know, um, be a role model for my boys. It's very important for me to be a positive, a positive uh, role model for them to look at and to aspire to be like. Um, you know, I come from a single parent family. And my father was absent, he was never around. So you could say I'm trying to be I'm trying to be the father that I wish I had. And uh, it's important, which is why, you know, the last fight I took the loss, it was a great battle. I went down swinging. Um, if I could replay it again, if I had to go down swinging, I'll go down swinging again. I left it all out there. But it's very important for me to come back now and show not only to not only to my children but to show to others you know i'm here at Islington boxing gym i work at the gym i'm around a lot of the young kids it's one thing for me to preach you know overcoming adversities and you know when obstacles 
coming your way, stepping past them and continuing to push through. It's one thing for me to preach that, it's another thing for me to actually live it and do it myself. So it's very important now that I, that I come back from defeat, I push on and I show them that there's no such thing as a loss really. You either, you either win or you learn and I'm a very big believer in that. So. I mean, on the weekend, we're seeing Dave Allen, I mean, someone who's also big on social media in the boxing, trying to avenge his defeat against Lenroy Thomas for the Commonwealth title. Yep. I mean, I'm sure you see him on social media. He's a, he's a bit of a character. I mean, yeah, can you yeah, see him yeah. avenging that defeat? He's a very big personality. Um, he looks in great shape from what I've been following him. So I could see him avenging the defeat. Um, you know, you hear about Dave Allen and, you know, stuff like linking up with the fans on the day of the fight and all that kind of stuff. Um, when really he should be in his hotel room, he should be resting and getting himself ready to go. But that, that's why he's turned into such a, you know, he's more like a sort of cult hero on the, on the social media now. If, if he's as focused as he needs to be, I see him turning it around and uh, I see him getting the victory. And with you, Pigford, is that a fight you want to get again and avenge the defeat or can you put that behind you and just move on? Um, I could put it behind me and move on. I've put it behind me and I've moved on. Um, like anything, you have, you have to move on, you know, the, the, sun, the sun still rises in the morning and sets the following day. As a fighter, of course I want that fight back, um, I'll have that fight back tomorrow. Um, I thought it was a fight that I was in, I thought it was a fight that um, I think I was winning. Um, made a mistake, I got caught, credit to Joe Figford, you know, he, he, he done the job and uh, yeah, I look forward to bumping heads again one day. All right, mate, but listen, it's all about Saturday, obviously the comeback fight. That's the one. Um, get the covers off, like you said, then a big 2018, hopefully for you. That's uh, it. Live on IFL TV, so people, people yep, can yep, watch yep. you. It's and then, live, it's live. And I'll grab an interview afterwards. Um, but 100%. listen, Aaron, have a good rest of the week. I'm sure I'll catch up with you soon, but until then, thank you for IFL TV. Thank you very so much, well, Sonny. Thank you.